Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a product review of the Too Faced Bulletproof Brow. You guys know that I'm obsessed with brows and I'm a very bold brow girl. I do like to have a really defined brow and yeah, so I thought this product would be right up my alley. So I definitely wanted to pick it up and give it a try. So apparently it's a sweat proof, water resistant brow definer. I'm just reading off my laptop. And then what it does is this groundbreaking brow definer is a powder, gel, pencil, and setting wax all in one cashmere clay formula. It applies creamy, sets dry, and doesn't move until you decide to remove it. Too Faced created this product to give wo women the confidence in knowing their brows will last longer than a, than a day at work and a night on the town. So yeah, it's just be, supposed to be a super long lasting pot formulation of eyebrow product, kind of similar to maybe Anastasia brow pomade. I haven't tried that yet, but this is what the product looks like. It comes with this little flap, which is supposed to basically airtight the product. However, how it's designed doesn't really seal it very well. It actually, I think does worse for the product because mine's already cracking and I've had it for under two months. Anyway, I picked mine in the shade Universal Brunette. There's also Universal Blonde, so it wouldn't cater for, for example, if you had auburn hair. So that is a disadvantage of this product already, just on that aspect. Now the cost of this, I'm also reading this off my computer. I bought it for $44.95 Australian dollars from, it was either Kit Cos, was it Kit Cos, yeah, it was Kit Cosmetics in Town Hall. And then from Sephora, it's about 30 US dollars. And then in the box, it also comes with a jewel ended brush. So this one comes with the angled eyeliner side and then also the spoolie side, which I wish the brush wasn't as thick as it was. Like, compared to my Illamasqua one, I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference, but compared to my Illamasqua one, it's about double the thickness, and that just doesn't give me a precise eyebrow, like my Illamasqua one does. But that's okay, because what I use it for is generally to fill in the middle sections of my brow. I've noticed that if you just use this product in your brow by itself, it can look a little bit fake. I'm not a fan of having fake looking brows, but I am a fan of having super defined brows. Okay, the thing that pissed me off when I took it home and I realized is the amount of product you get is like so small. You get two grams of product and mine's already cracking, which I'm so pissed off about. All right, let's talk about application. So I find that it picks up really nicely. I do use the brush that comes with it. I would recommend that if you do purchase this product, don't over pack your brush with product. Just dab it in like once or twice and then distribute it to your brow. Less is honestly more with this product because it can look very bad very quickly. I'm going to go back to packaging. It's just this little round cylinder and it's, it's not super thick, but it's not super thin. Like comparing it to my iPhone, it's not super thick. It's maybe about a little bit bigger. But what pisses me off is it doesn't seal properly, so your product dries out quick. So for example, if I zoom up, mine already has cracks in it, which for something that I'm paying almost $50 for, I don't want to dry out on me within maybe three months. Taking off points for packaging for sure. But yeah, so packaging, I'm not the biggest fan of. I wish they would fix this. Like I would honestly rather it be a screw lid than this. And then in the compact, you also get a little mirror. But seriously, this mirror is so small, you could do nothing with it. It's so tiny. Like, I guess it's better than nothing, but eh. Okay, longevity. This stuff seriously lasts ages. I'll put it in my eyebrows, and then I'll also put, like, my brow powder on top, and then my Benefit Gimme Brow, just like I always would. But seriously, this stuff lasts ages. Like, ages and ages and ages and ages. It won't come off until I physically remove it with a makeup remover wipe or a makeup remover it is that good like if you go to like mecca maxima or um kit cosmetics and you swatch it on your hand and let it dry go wash your hands like two hours later or three hours later it will not go like yeah a reason why i did pick this up was because i did swatch it on my hand and i did go through like a whole day of like activities and i seriously was scrubbing it off at the end of the night it was yeah, longevity is definitely amazing, but yeah, it does really, really last. It is a nice product, but 
there are other products which work out to be cheaper. So if I was to repurchase this, I would get another brush, which personally I wouldn't need another brush. Like I just feel like it's a bit of a waste. Like it's a nice touch for your first purchase. But if you're repurchasing this, I personally wouldn't like a brush. Maybe if they took the brush out and made it a little bit cheaper, I would buy it again. But at this point, $44.95, I'm just reading off my computer, is a lot to pay for something where you get so little product and it dries out so fast. Like mine's already cracked so much, which is ridiculous because I've had it for like maybe two months. At this point, it is a nice product if you need your eyebrows to stay in place. So far, this is the best that I've tried. But again, I haven't tried like the Anastasia brow pomade or anything like that. No, I don't think I would repurchase this anytime soon. I feel like if it was cheaper, so maybe if they took away the cost of the brush and they made it maybe $30 Australian, then I probably would repurchase. But so far, like you get so little product and it dries up so quick that it's not really worth it. If you do need your brows to last all day, I do think it's a nice product. Okay, my overall opinions on this product. First, I want to talk about the color. So I've noticed with both the blonde and the brunette, that it is a very green based color, a green based brown, which I personally really, really enjoy. It doesn't pull too red on the eyebrows, which a lot of brow products, so for example, Benefit Browsing and a few other products that I won't mention, they do pull very, very red once they're applied to the brow. They may not be red as far as like matching someone with auburn hair, but they are definitely more red, more warm. Is that what you call them, warm? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. But they're definitely more red than, say, something like this, where it is very, very green-based, which personally I think complements the brow a lot more. But as a whole, I wouldn't repurchase unless they change the packaging and also and or remove the brush and made it cheaper. Because I would personally rather have the option of buying the brush and this separately because like if you're going to repurchase this say two, three, four times, you're going to have two, three, four of these brushes, which I personally don't think is necessary. Maybe it's nice to have two, but definitely not more than that. I don't think it's necessary. Although I think the brush is a nice touch, I don't think it's needed. And also the packaging, unless they design it so the product doesn't dry up like this, then yeah, no, it's not a winner in my books. But product itself is amazing. I am going to say that. Um, I will give credits where it's worth, and the product is definitely amazing. Maybe if they put it in a pot or something, or make the sealing bit actually seal properly. Like, as hard as I try, it, like, still pops back up. Like... So, like, I think it's closed, then, like, as soon as I touch it, it just comes back up. Overall, wouldn't repurchase unless they changed the packaging and maybe got rid of the brush or made it a bit cheaper. So like got rid of the brush to make it cheaper, if that makes sense. But yeah, so far it's a good product. I would recommend it if you were wanting something for like a wedding day, a formal event, something like that, like a one-off occasion where you wanted really, really good brows to last you all night long. But it's not something that I would repurchase on the regular. Yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to, trying to um, project. So yeah, good product overall, but it dries up really fast. That's my overall opinions. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!